Hey guys, my name is Asian Psycho, and I'm bringing you guys this really quick um, review on the Remington, I believe it's called the Remington M597 BTR. Now, this is the latest uh, NX Standard uh, assault rifle that Nexon has released just today after their short half an hour patch. And, um,. This, once again, this is a new NX standard assault rifle, but rather than that, I'm, I, I'd like to tell you guys that this is the most unconventional assault rifle Combat Arms has released to date, and um, it's very, very unconventional. It's very wacky. It's, it's good in some aspects, but... Overall, I don't really like how it feels, but it is quite powerful if you use it correctly. But you have to use it correctly in a certain way in order to make the, make the most use out of the Remington M597 um, assault rifle. Now, I would tell you guys the statistics of the uh, the Remington uh, Remington AM, M. I'm just gonna kind of call it the uh, the M597 assault rifle. Um, the M597 does not have its stats up on the Nexon stat page for whatever reason. I don't understand why, but it's not there right now. So I'm just gonna have to go off what I feel, how the statistics are behaving on this weapon. So you got you guys are gonna have to go on on a limb here, or I'm gonna have to go on a limb here for you guys to have it to for you guys to trust me on this. But uh, yeah, let's get started on the review on the M597 um, assault rifle. Now this is the new uh, newest pre-release or preview sale assault rifle, so that means it's only available in 90 or uh, permanent durations. So you're gonna have to be careful on this one. So that's why I'm trying to get get you guys this review out as quickly as possible. So to get to let you guys know that the Remington 5 M597 assault rifle isn't necessarily worth your NX getting. In fact, it's probably not. So um, here we go. The damage on the uh, like I said, uh, the the stats are not up at the moment I'm doing this audio commentary. So once Again, I'm just gonna have to. I can't really give you guys numbers, so I gotta give you guys what I what I feel about the weapon. So the damage is very high for an assault rifle on the M597. However, it's also got a very fast rate of fire, so that means you can take out people very very quickly. In fact, it probably I feel like I'm going on a limb here, but it probably has the fastest DPS time of almost any assault rifle maybe a few other assault rifles beat it like the AUG family or something uh, some other assault rifles like that but it's got a very very fast DPS time but um yeah that's so damage wise it's very very good and I kind of gave away the reef rate of fire there so we'll we'll cover rate of fire once again when we uh when we talk about it um the portability on the M597 um, assault rifle is not is not something you should be concerned with I mean I Yes, it feels light, but obviously because I don't have the stat to back that up, I can't really say that for sure. So just just trust me on this one where when I say it feels light, but then again, it could be like really heavy and we wouldn't know about it, but whatever. To me anyway, it feels pretty light. Then again, I am wearing uh, full NX speed gear, so um, yeah, <laughs> whether or not you want to trust me on that one is up to you. Uh, rate of fire. I mentioned rate of fire a little bit when I talked about damage. The rate of fire on the uh, the M597 assault rifle is a very very is very fast, and um, but there's a huge disadvantage with, with that uh, with that fast rate of fire, and we'll get cover with that. Uh, we'll cover why in just a second here, but uh, rate of fire is still very fast. Accuracy wise, the accuracy is very very good on the M597 uh, assault rifle. If I were to give it a statistic, it would either be the high 80s or possibly into the 90s. Um, definitely not over, not more uh, accurate than like the than like 91 or 92, but definitely very very accurate. Easily 88 or 87 or above. So it's a very accurate assault rifle. So you can definitely enjoy that. Um, one, keep in mind that the M597 assault rifle is meant to be an, an accurate is meant to be an accuracy rifle, not necessarily a battle rifle. That's kind of stretching it a little but it is definitely most definitely an accuracy rifle um, recoil wise the recoil is very very low on the um, statistically speaking anyway I feel like next one will give it a very very low recoil rating but here's the thing the re that only pertains to a recoil kickback in scope and hip fire the recoil kickback is very very low however the recoil spread is where things get a little bit out of hand the recoil spread because of its uh, fast rate of fire it, it can get um, messy very very quickly it doesn't get messy because of one thing in particular which is its biggest disadvantage but we'll get to, we'll cover that in just a second when that topic comes up. But um, yeah, the recoil spread is what's disadvantageous about the uh, the M597 assault rifle, but the kickback itself is not. Tap fire ability, it is, this gun is very, very tap fireable. In fact, well, I already mentioned to you guys that this is meant to be used as an accuracy rifle, and thus the tap fire ability on the M597 uh, assault rifle is very, very good, and it's very easy to do.
it doesn't it doesn't over tap fire, so that's a very good thing. Even when going full auto, uh, typically you don't really have to uh, you don't really have to tap fire even uh, unless it's unless it's like medium range or long range. But then again, there you go. Sprint drawback. The sprint drawback is surprisingly fast on the M597 um, assault rifle, even though it is meant to be an accuracy rifle, which means it's meant to be used at middle, middle range or a uh, long range. Oh, speaking about the damage a little bit, the damage drop off on the uh, the M597 is very very good. You'll get consistent four or five shot kills even at very very long range, where typically uh, typically other so other weapons would t tend to take more than that. So that's very good, obviously. Um, so the draw speed on the M597 is very good as well. It's a very fast uh, drawing um, assault rifle, and yeah, if you really need to pull it out at a uh, close range, that's what she said. Um, I mean, you can, but I don't recommend it because of one thing in particular, and it's not because of the fact that it's uh, oh, it's kind of because of the fact that it is meant to be uh, used as an accuracy rifle, but um, there is another bigger <laughs> disadvantage, disadvantage to that, and you guys probably know why, but I'm not going to spoil it for you in case you guys are not watching the comment, not watching the video, um, the gameplay that is. Real speed, the real speed is extremely fast for, well not really extremely fast, but it is definitely very fast for assault rifle, so you'll definitely enjoy that as well. Fire modes, it is only available in fully automatic, so there you have it. Um, nothing much to talk about there. Luck, it's not lucky at all. In fact, it, this gun, because of one thing in particular, it has the lowest luck ratings, in my opinion, um, in in the entire game of all weapons and combat arms, excluding like other weapons like explosives and stuff like that. Obviously, so uh, there you have it. Um, so in luck, you will not get be getting lucky random headshots out of the blue. So don't expect that from this gun. Ammo capacity. This is the one reason you should not get this gun. Its ammo capacity, first of all, it's got a very decent uh, ammo uh, starting ammunition capacity. At, let me take a look at my preview screen here to just to check how many bullets it starts with. Um, come on, preview screen. Fuck, come on. Um, it starts with 120 rounds in the. Uh, in the in reserve so that and it's that is good because i mean it does start with a lot of uh starting ammunition however this is the one thing that you should this is one reason why you should not buy this gun it only has 10 rounds in the magazine yes you heard me right it has only 10 fucking rounds in the magazine I'm gonna repeat again, just in case you guys didn't hear. It only has ten flipping rounds. This is why. This is the most. This is the biggest disadvantage. This is the biggest drawback that the M597 um, assault rifle has to its name. Ten rounds in the magazine, and you can't even put an extended mag on it. Now that is absolute utter bullshit, in my opinion. That is the reason why I do not like this gun at all. Even if it had like twenty rounds, at least twenty rounds, because for God's sake, the M, even the M14, the um. Or is it the the M4, M14, the Gewehr 43? They both have 20 rounds for God's sake. At next on, at least give this thing 20 rounds for God's sake. I mean, I'm not complaining because well, I guess I am, but I mean, I can live with 10 rounds because I'm used to using the Gewehr, uh, not like the Garand 40, uh, the Garand, the M1 Garand that you guys released just earlier. I mean, that that gun has eight rounds, but I can understand that because it has very very high damage, and on top of that, it's meant to be, it's meant to have eight rounds, so I can understand that it's, it's supposed to be historically accurate. Not for this gun. This is supposed to be a freaking assault rifle. The M1 Garand was it was a marksman rifle. It's supposed to be a battle rifle. This thing's an assault rifle. Why do you? Why can't we put an extended magazine on this thing? God damn it! At least give us 20 rounds on this gun. If they don't, if they don't patch it, if they don't patch this gun or buff this gun somehow, do not buy this gun. Do not buy this gun because this gun only has 10 rounds. I mean. Sure, it's a very interesting gun, and it's definitely one of the most unconventional guns out there. If you and it's a very nice gun if you want it to get, if you want to have a change of pace. It only has ten rounds, though. What can you do with ten rounds? For God's sake! I mean, although it has a very fast fire rate and a very fast uh, re uh, rate uh, reload speed, I meant to say, not fire rate because I mean that's a given. The fast fire is what is what is what ultimately causes this gun's downfall along with the low ammo uh, the low ammo capacity per magazine you're gonna waste so many bullets so fast that certain times in this video you'll see me go up to people try spray them down but because I fire all 10 rounds before most of them even hit they turn around and kill me when I was supposed to kill them so that's my only that's my that's my biggest biggest complaint about this gun 10 rounds in magazine it is not worth it and the profile picture on com the comment arms arsenal page like the homepage where they feature it it's it looks like that for a reason it has no magazine because this magazine capacity is so damn small it only has 10 fucking rounds do not be fooled 
this gun has no ammo per magazine, pretty much. You, it's like just, unless you're super duper accurate, which, don't get me wrong, this gun is very accurate, but, for God's sake, if you miss those bullets, God help you, because you're probably going to die. There we go, I'm going to stop complaining about the ammo capacity now, because I feel like I've talked about that enough. Moving on. Key physical characters is on the M five ninety seven assault rifle, so it it's a it has a very long length and also it has no it has no magazine to speak of because it only has a ten round magazine. Simple as that. Moving on to the muzzle noise. The muzzle noise on the M five ninety seven is a kind of a low frequency, but it's very very loud. You can put suppressors on this to negate the muzzle noise, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Moving on to its attachment options, you cannot attach extended magazines or magazine modifications. Why Nexon? Why didn't? Why did you have to clock block us? Why? Why? Anyways, moving on to the uh, the fire team or whatnot. It's fire team worthy. I haven't really tried it because I just got this right now. So, um, fire team. I don't really think so. Cause, oh my god. Um, ten rounds of max. You can't do anything with this. Enough said. Quarantine worthy. Same thing. Ten rounds of max. You can't do anything. And now for my frank personal opinions, you should not get this gun. You should just don't even think about it because you guys, I don't know how much you guys appreciate the fact that uh, I go, I have to spend my own money and go out there and buy these things for you guys in order to let you guys know whether or not these guns are worth getting. This, this is honestly a waste of my money. You should not get this gun. And unless you feel like an absolute troll uh, using this gun, you should not get this. Don't get it, ever. It just it just will not do the trick, especially for you, those of you guys who like to rush a lot. Oh, here's one. Here's the instance. Or I don't know how, when the um, the gameplay will catch up to me, but um, uh, never mind. Um, I'm, I'm looking at a different moment in the game, uh, the preview screen here. But anyways, if you don't, if you if you're the patient kind of longer range, the campier type of guys, then maybe this gun is for you. However, if you're the rusher kind like I am, don't get this gun. For the love of God, do not get this gun. I I know this is the one review that I feel very very strongly about. I'm I'm pretty much yelling at the top of my lungs about. Don't get this gun, please do not. Unless next on patches to have at least 20 rounds, don't get this. Do not get this. Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you guys will appreciate the super fast reviews review that I've put out for this gun because um, I was pretty excited to use this gun, but I was severely disappointed, mainly because of the fact that it only has 10 stupid freaking rounds per magazine. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. You could have shit in it. Round start. Round start. Alpha Team Round win. Start.